being here today. My pleasure. Well, tell me why you guys wanted to uh, do this event today. We've been giving back, to, giving back to the community for over 25 years, so it's one of a good cause just to give back to the community. How, how much are you guys hoping to raise today? A lot. It's game day, so people love El Arroyo and game days. So hopefully over a thousand thousands of dollars. Awesome. Well, like we said, 10% of the proceeds today at these three restaurants, El Arroyo, Estres Follies, and Ropolo's Pizza, will go to the Firefighters Fund. So tell me, you're making something special today, aren't you? Yes, uh, we are doing a grilled chicken tequila um, with fresh herbs and also uh, fresh uh, chipotle sauce. Awesome. Well, let's get started. This looks really good. Talk about some of the other items you, hear, you have okay, here. Okay, in front we have items. Our, our Migas plate. We're serving brunch from El, uh, El Arroyo for 10 um, 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon, Saturday and Sundays. Um, we have migas with the uh, sausage and potatoes. Our here is our fresh ceviche we make daily at both of our restaurants. And then our famous fajita platter right there, where it's, we're famous for fajitas, our El Arroyo. Oh, yes. You guys uh, you have a great location that you've had for years down on 5th Street, like 5th and Mopac Fifth and, right yeah. there in the uh -huh. corner. Tell me your other locations. I've only visited that one. We have one on Far West and Wood Hollow, too. Awesome. Well, the one on uh, the, that corner is a really popular one. You can't miss it if you're yeah, coming you off Mopac. Really <laughs> yeah. Our sign is famous. It's been on all over the web lately. Oh, awesome. And you guys, you use, you put uh, captions on your sign there. What does the caption say today? I, it just says, I, it says, uh, never, ever, ever forget. God bless America. Awesome. Wonderful. All right, so this is something you can make at home, huh? Absolutely. All right, it's tell absolutely. us what we have. So we have a grilled chicken breast here. And we've butterflied the chicken breast. Uh, the reason we do this is so that the meat can absorb some of the fresh flavors that we use uh, for our dishes. So, and over here we have Tommy cutting up some fresh herbs, say. some cilantro, some green onions, and these are items that we add to the dish to give an exquisite flavor. Awesome. Well, in years past, you guys did this last year, the um, Giving Back Fund. How much did you guys raise last year between the three restaurants? Did you guys partner with the same two restaurants last yes, year? Yes, yeah, we did partner. I think we raised close to $2,500. That's awesome. So That's um, we, we thank the community for coming out, and hopefully we'll have the same uh, result today, too. So. Well, you know, it, everything happens for a reason. It, it landed on a Saturday today, game day, with extra people in town. So hopefully uh, yeah. this will be a, a, a very good, profitable day for I you guys so. as well. All right, so tell us what else we have. All right, so we're adding in the chipotle <laughs> sauce. <laughs> yes, it Things is. are popping in here. Yeah, we're on fire this morning. So um, we've got some fresh chipotle sauce. All our sauces are made from scratch daily. So um, we do get have excellent flavor. It smells really good. It's one one thing people love about the restaurant is the fresh ingredients that you guys uh, offer oh, yeah. every single day. Awesome. So we're coating both sides of the chicken. And if, you know, people want to do this at home, it's really easy just to go and get chicken breasts, slice them like this, and uh, all the ingredients are, are, are easy to get in the store, right? Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, fresh Absolutely. Ingredients. So Excellent. we've got some cilantro, some green onions that we're adding to this dish. And we're going to let this simmer. Well, if you'd like to visit any of those restaurants today, El Arroyo, Ropolo's Pizza, or Esther's Follies, today, 10% of the proceeds that you give to your server will go to a firefighter's fund in honor of those who lost their lives on September 11th. We thank you guys for being here today. We hope that everything goes really well and you get a good turnout today. Yeah, we're hoping that everybody does show up. Uh, we start brunch at 10 a.m., so uh, please come out and join our cause. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank we you are for going us. to, oh, you're welcome. We're going to uh, talk to Rhonda about the weather. If you're heading outside, Rhonda, what can people expect today? All right, they can expect some warm temperatures, not quite as the fire that was in that pan, but a little on the warm side. Well, let's go ahead and take a look outside right now. Our lake levels actually are rather high, particularly at Lake Travis, where we're seven feet above average. And obviously, that's because of these several feet of rain that we've had over the last few days. And of course, our tower cam is showing us a lot of fog or at least low-level cloudiness on our 360 tower cam. And of course, if you are headed out today, I say 
they go with that, at least to start by noon when those tailgates are in full swing. 88 degrees, not so bad, just a few passing clouds. It's just that 3 to 5 p.m. range where we're going to start looking off to the west a little bit. Maybe a scattered shower here and there as a cold front kind of pushes its way just ever so slightly north of us in 90 degrees.